Hello, everyone. My name is Vita Dima, and welcome to our Women in Leadership Roles edition. The month of March is Women History Month. We celebrate the contributions of the women who have paved the way for many women in the future. Their contributions have given women today the ability to obtain leadership roles. With us today to discuss her experience as a woman in a leadership role is Vice President of University of Advancement, Jerry Schooley. Thank you, Mrs. Schooley, for your time today. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Let's begin with your leadership role on campus. What is it and what do you do? So I lead the uh, Office of Institutional Advancement, uh, which includes fundraising, uh, philanthropy for the university, private support, uh, as well as alumni relations. Thank you. As a woman, how does it feel to have a role like this? Um, it's exciting. Uh, I love Texas Westland. So to be specifically at this institution for me is, um, is just really exciting. I enjoy the leadership and the relationships that we have at the university, the alumni that we work with, the other donors and friends that we work with. So um, it's, it's an exciting role and I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, will you share what led you to this position? What led me to this specific position is um, relationships, honestly. Um, I actually uh, am rounding out the first year in this VP position, uh, but I was with Texas Westland uh, a few years ago um, as the Associate Vice President for University Advancement. Uh, so I had the opportunity to come back to Texas Westland and uh, pick up kind of, kind of where I left off back in the Advancement office and, and back working with fundraising and working with our alumni. What is one leadership lesson you feel that you have learned throughout your career? Um, it's hard to just to say one. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw two in there real quickly. Um, you know, one is to not get ahead of yourself. Um, it's, it's very easy when you're in a leadership role to think that uh, you, you have to have all the answers or that you're expected to have all the answers. And uh, that's not necessarily the case. Um, you know, part of, part of the leadership role is to be aware of what's going on around you and, and make sure that you're in the moment and you don't get too far ahead. Um, the other thing I would say is it's, you know, really thinking about the people around you and making sure that uh, you understand where they are and what they're doing and that um, you're, you're not just trying to lead them, but you're also trying to coach them and help them in ways that they need to be successful in their positions. That's some good advice. Thank you so much. We'll take a short break. Please stay tuned. I'll be here to hear what's on your mind. Take this time to talk and get it right. You know I'll be there all your life. When you need me, I'll be by your side. Little everyday conversations about the dangers of underage drinking can make a big difference in a child's life. Talk, they hear you. Welcome back. Let's take a look at what has led you here. What has prepared you for this leadership role? Um, I would say it's, it's a combination of all of my past experiences. Um, I was very fortunate early in my career uh, to have a mentor that really helped me uh, understand my particular uh, field, my particular area of advancement, fundraising, relationship building. Um, and that, that was huge for me. Um, it, yeah, and, and it happened to be, um, it, it was not actually a female uh, mentor, it was a male mentor, but um, he really empowered the females that worked within our company and um, was extremely helpful in, in just kind of guiding me and showing me and doing just really honestly a lot of on the job training with me. Very good. I read a statement that you made about being a first generation college student. Did that make you work harder to achieve your goals? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Um, so I come from a family of six kids and I'm the first obviously in my family to go to college. Um, and I had a passion in me that wanted to get higher education. I just knew that the opportunities for me would be much greater if I was able to acquire a degree. And so, um, yeah, it's, it made me focus more. It, made, it provided me more drive and more commitment to what I was doing. 
um, because I, I just knew opportunities would be available if I was able to acquire a degree. Do you have any advice for women who are also first uh, generation college students? Uh, stick with it. Um, there are going to be challenging times. I know when I was in school, I actually had a couple of semesters where I had to work two part-time jobs um, to help uh, pay for my education and living in addition to the financial aid that I received. And there were days when I thought, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if it's worth doing it. Um, but on the back end, it was absolutely worth doing that. And so, you know, as hard as it may get at times, uh, don't give up. Um, give yourself a break, a step back, uh, take a deep breath. If you, if you need to let something go, let it go, but, but stay focused and keep, keep on your pursuit. Very nice. Good, good advice also. <laughs> um, thank you. We'll take a short break, but please stay tuned. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Welcome back. Let's talk about your experience in your leadership role. Being a woman, did you face any challenges getting into the position of leadership? Um, I didn't really face any challenges getting into the leadership position, but I, but early in my career, I do remember uh, being honestly a little bit intimidated uh, by uh, my role as a woman, uh, you know, working in the field of fundraising. Um, early in my career, I, I worked for specifically for a consulting firm and, and I would have opportunities to actually meet with uh, board members or other volunteer groups and, and a lot of times they were pr predominantly uh, male uh, groups, um, older gentlemen and um, I was young and uh, I didn't have quite as much experience as I have today and I do remember times feeling a bit intimidated where I wasn't sure if uh, they would take me serious. Um, and what I learned from that experience is that I had to just hold true to myself. You know, I, there was a role that I had to play and I needed to step up and, and do my part and do my role. And, um, you know, I never had anyone who was um, anything but gracious to me, but at times I, I remember feeling, oh my goodness, I, am I supposed to be the one in this room? Should, you know, should I be at this table? Um, but it did teach me that I had to, uh, I had to really kind of lean in, you know, I had to, I was there and they were expecting a role out of me and, and it gave me great experience. What were some of those skills or what are some skills that women can bring to leadership roles? Well, of course, you know, just, um, being articulate in, in the field, the area that, um, they're playing a role in, you know, um, there, there's a reason that you're at the table. There's a reason that you're involved in, in discussions. There's a, there's a part of your job and your role. And I think just knowing what that is so that when you have the opportunity to share that uh, with in whatever setting you're in, um, that you can do that in, in a way that's intelligent and, and wise and clear. Um, and, and that you're also, uh, I know for me, I'm a very transparent person. Um, I love to learn. And I think that we have to keep this open mind um, that, you know, every opportunity that we experience is an opportunity to learn. And so I think that that's something that, you know, particular young women should, should take advantage of, you know, don't, don't be intimidated by the circumstance or the surroundings around you. Uh, take it as an opportunity to learn and, and take in what's going on. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, Mrs. Schooley, we appreciate your time today. And you've given some very beneficial um, suggestions and advice to these women in, uh, that are coming up in the leadership roles and uh, for women on campus seeking those leadership roles. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to this special edition. Do not forget to follow us on Facebook at The Rambler and Twitter and Instagram at the Rambler TWU. My name is Vita Dima and this is Rambler TV. 
Rambler TV.